I was trying to remember the original version of Sultans that you played. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like almost a sort of slightly country, sort of folky sort of thing, wasn't it? Yeah, the, originally the song, I uh, was playing it on open tuning on an acoustic guitar and I've forgotten right. what the tune was. And it was only until the strap turned up, yeah. which is this one from 1961. There she is. It was the nature of the sound that made me change yeah. the music all around. Yeah. One of the things that the Strat gave me was that movement and moving the note around and then two strings. But then I, I found, and maybe it's to do with being left-handed, I used to be able to move three strings with one finger like... I think that the Sultan's head would be moving. That was part of the sound and I remember realising that the thing was giving me a different set of music to the same set of lyrics. The straights sound to me is very much this thumb on the bottom, which gives a lead to the bass player, me, and to the drummer with his bass drum. So you get this sort of bounce off the music. Yeah, the playing had really just developed from using a piece of plastic to finger picking and through my background and not being able to afford an amplifier. The right hand is making a sound like this a lot of the time. That becomes a feature. So even if you're just going has the same thump thing to it. With Sultans it would be that. Yeah, exactly. So exactly. I would always put another rhythm in. We've got a piece of non-technology here, which of course didn't exist then, which we've got the original demo of Sultans on. So which I haven't heard for 35 years. I listened to it the other day. It's very, it's very simple actually. So do you think you can play along with this? Yeah, I bet you I could. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> you get a shiver in the dark, it's raining. So Mark's third guitar is the iconic Fender Stratocaster, the very same model he gazed at in northern music shops all those years ago.